individualized long-term support services and supportive amenities. Because some properties that are consumer controlled allow you to choose whatever service provider you want, but they may also provide voluntary support. Supportive amenities might mean there's a resident assistant that lives in the building, someone that you can go to 24-7, or a front desk that's open 24-7. A supportive amenity might be life skills classes like cooking and housekeeping. It could be relationships, classes on sexuality or conflict resolution. Supportive amenities might also include additional transportation or maybe just fun planned activities. It's important to remember that supportive amenities are based on the property and that they are not individualized long-term support services. If an individual needs support to participate in an activity that's part of a voluntary supportive amenity program that the property offers, then they can bring their support staff with them. Supportive amenities on properties are key and essential for those who may not be eligible for long-term support services, but need just that additional safety net to make sure that they can stay stably housed. It's exciting that more properties are offering supportive amenities. It's not necessary and you might not be interested in them, but I wanted to make sure that, there, that you're understanding the difference between a property that has supportive amenities and then a property that offers long-term support services because those are two very different things.